shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And Mary believed Gabriel and said, Be it unto me according to thy word. Jesus leaves the glories of heaven to begin his mission. Destination, Nazareth. The Holy Spirit overshadows Mary the Virgin, and she conceives. In her body, the creator of the universe is being transformed into a baby. Later, Mary was led to visit her older cousin, who was six months pregnant. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the babe leaped in her womb, and she was filled with the Holy Ghost. Elizabeth's child would be born John the Baptist. And Elizabeth spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Mary was engaged to Joseph, but she was now with child. And Jewish law demanded death to any maiden who got pregnant before marriage. This was a major problem for Mary. Behind the scenes, Satan wanted Mary stoned to death to murder the child. But Joseph loved Mary and didn't want to make her a public example. He was afraid for her safety and planned to call off the marriage privately. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Then Joseph and Mary were married in the city of Nazareth. Satan moved Caesar Augustus in Rome to tax the whole world. Satan did this for evil. But in so doing, he helped fulfill Bible prophecy by forcing Joseph and Mary to journey to Bethlehem, where the Bible said Jesus would be born. Bethlehem was also the place of Joseph's birth, and it was there he had to register for taxation. Mary was just about to give birth. Satan was hoping there would be an accident on that long journey. But God was in control. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. That night, shepherds were in a nearby field watching their sheep. The angel of the Lord appeared unto them and said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. It was in a lowly stable that the creator of the universe was born. The Bible says, He was in the world, and the world was made by Him, and the world knew Him not. This is how the Bible describes Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same 
was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. And when the eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. According to Jewish law, Mary faithfully offered two turtle doves for his sin offering. Even though God had chosen Mary for such a high honor, Mary knew she was a sinner and understood that her child Jesus would be her savior. In the temple was a respected man named Simeon. The Bible says, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. He took the child Jesus in his arms and said, Mine eyes have seen thy salvation. At the birth of the Lord Jesus, a star appeared in the heavens, and wise men from the east, carrying gifts, followed the star. It would be a two-year journey before they reached Jerusalem. The wise men came to King Herod and asked, Where is he that is born the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. And when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt. And be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy the prophet, saying, In Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they are not. Even though there was a great slaughter of the innocents, God 
took their precious little souls to heaven. After King Herod died, the family moved back to Nazareth, and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. During the Passover, Jesus understood that one day, as the Lamb of God, he would be saved.